Denver Broncos Mile High View. No commercials, no bullshit. Um, I gotta apologize. <clears throat> I'm on the road, so uh, I gotta be mindful of traffic. So uh, anyway, uh, Sports Talk Radio is uh, again, you know, doing what they do really good, and that's usually misdirecting a team and fans. And uh, the hype wagon is uh, going uh, berserk to draft uh, Locke. Uh, I don't exactly know why. I called Locke a poor man's Chad Pennington. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're Chad Pennington. Oh. Well, you know, the reason I, I decided to, to, to make that comparison is because uh, in that year it was a, a thin quarterback draft class as well. And this would include uh, the Hall of Famer, uh, will will one day be Hall of Famer, uh, Tom Brady. But uh, both uh, Pennington and uh, uh, and Locke are coming out of a small college, a smaller college. Uh, I, I call him a poor man's uh, Chad Pennington because a he's, he, he, Locke isn't really all that good. I mean, he's really not. And uh, it, again, it would be a disservice to draft him. And I don't understand why the Broncos would in the first round. When you hire a defensive coach, you've got a, a really good dra defensive draft class. It just, I don't understand it. And this is what would happen uh, if, you, if they draft uh, Locke in the first round. Number one. Uh, all these people clamoring. All you're going to hear, oh, this is, oh, we're, you know, it's going to be so great now. <clears throat> and they're going to be wrong. And uh, what's going to happen is uh, Locke is going to go to a dysfunctional team, a team that's still in rebuild mode, a team that wasn't disciplined and, and got players that are good to be plugged in where they need them. Uh, they're going to get they're going to get a quarterback and they're going to start have to take the seconds, the sloppy seconds and thirds of everything else that they need defensively when they could have got a marquee player uh, in the first round. I would say a defensive lineman, somebody that can push that middle because then you're then you can you don't have to get the elite corner. You can get a really good corner that's getting helped out by all those guys, the, the horsemen up front. That's what I'd be shooting for. Uh, getting this uh, defense back on track. Uh, offensive linemen in the free agency get the offensive line back, uh, uh, back in gear. This team is still having to uh, construct itself. You can't ask somebody like Locke, who, like I said, isn't really all that good to begin with. Ask him, because what will happen, and you know it, the fans will be begging as soon as Case Keenum throws the first pick. They'll be begging to throw this guy in. And when they find out that he ain't the answer either, the same people who were clamoring, the same people who were clamoring for Locke will be the very first people who will want to throw him under the bus and want to go and, and throw everything off to the side and draft the next victim to throw in there and, 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 you know, and here we go again. They'll be the very first ones to throw Locke under the bus and I'll have to defend him too because it won't be his fault. It'd be, like I said, it would be a disservice to draft him. He's not ready, you know, Drafting somebody, first of all, I think he's a backup to begin with. He's a he's a backup to begin with, and uh, he definitely he definitely is not going to be able to go. I mean, even Andrew Luck, the talent level he is coming out of college, would have a very hard time lifting this team up at this point in time. This team, they need to get more players. They need repetition, and they do need veteran leadership. Now, I'm not, you know, saying Case Keenum's the 
end all be all and, you know quite frankly you know he tends to do what Drew Bledsoe would do he would he tends to airmail passes but he's definitely especially if you see Locke in his game against Alabama nobody talks about that game nobody they conveniently leave that out where, you know, he throws two picks, he completed 50% or less of his passes, which really is more his average, closer to his actual average. That's why I say he's a poor man's Chad Pennington. Chad Pennington, by the end of his career, was almost at 70% completion rate. Okay? So don't freaking tell me that Locke is somehow better than him. You know, Locke is a backup. He's a, a strong-arm backup. Maybe he, you know, becomes, you know, down the road, he could be something like uh, a Nick Foles with years of experience under his belt, you know? But you can't expect him to come in and you're going to see results when he's just fresh out of college on a crappy team. That's another thing. I got crap. Oh, how dare you call the the Denver Broncos, Cleveland Browns, or put them in the same... Are you kidding me? Do you realize the Denver Broncos are a crappy team? Or did you lose your brain somewhere? They're a crappy team until, you know, they get this crap turned around. And you're not going to... Locke is not going to turn the crap around. you got to get your, your head out of your ass. You'll be the first to throw him under the bus once, it does, once you realize that he wasn't the guy. And again, I, it'd be better if the Broncos could get somebody in the second or third round. Then he, that person doesn't have the pressure on him. And then as soon as that pressure's on and it's not working out, in comes the doubt. And then you, you, know, you ruin another quarterback. That's a problem with Paxton Lynch. Maybe Paxton Lynch, now that he's you know, been humbled, I, call, I used to call Paxton Lynch Mr. Deer in the Headlights. I mean, he'd step on the field, and it was just like a deer in the headlights, you know? Is that all his fault? I don't think so either. Maybe if Paxton Lynch actually would have been drafted where he should, instead of all this damn hype, you know, you draft him where he should be. He should be drafted where, you know, third or fourth round. There's no expectations, you know, but he, you know, he doesn't have the, oh, I'm a first rounder in his head. You're never a first rounder. It shouldn't have even been put in his head. But if you go in there thinking, you know, I got a lot to learn, I got something to prove, <clears throat> Tom Brady, they seem to do good. They seem to do good. So, anyway, yeah, you, you draft Locke, and what's going to happen is you're going to be disappointed. And all you people clamoring for Locke, you'll be the first one to throw him under the bus. You will. I guarantee it. 